Thank you, Attorney General. Senator Cameron. Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Attorney General, Senator Brandis. In relation to the Attorney General's appointment of Mr. Tavalaris to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, we now know that the Attorney General has known Mr. Tavalaris for many years. Mr. Tavalaris previously acted for the Attorney General's son in criminal proceedings. Mr. Tavalaris has made a donation to the Liberal Party of Queensland, and the Attorney General personally approached Mr. Tavalaris for appointment to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. Does the Attorney General stand by his statement, and I quote, there is no conflict of interest whatsoever? The Leader of the Government in the Senate, the Attorney General, Senator Brandis. I'm sorry, Senator Brandis, I hadn't called you. Yeah, so the, could I ask you to repeat your answer? President, yes. Order, Senator Conroy. Senator Cameron, supplementary question. Yeah, thank you. Supplementary question. Uh, I refer to media reports which indicate that Mr. Tavil Aris acted for the Attorney General's son, uh, who was being prosecuted for willful damage to property. Did the Attorney General have any role in arranging for Mr. Tavil Aris to represent his son? And was Mr. Tavil Aris Order, paid right. full commercial rates? for the legal work. Order. On my right. Order. Attorney General. I will not dignify that disgusting question with an answer. Order. Order. On my left and my right. Order. Senator Wong, a point of order. Point of order. Order. I think you need to get On my right. Order. On my right. Order. Senator Wong, point of order. Point of order, Senator Wong. I cannot call him no. Final supplementary order. 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 How can I deal with interjections when I can't hear them because of the interjections close to me? Now, Senator Wong, do you have a point of order? Yes, I do. They should withdraw. Repeat, they're calling him a grub. They should. Re it was done repeatedly, Mr. President. In this question order. time, you do have to protect order. senators order. to some extent. If, if any senator used those words, I'd expect that senator to withdraw. I did not personally hear them. Order. Order, Senator O'Sullivan. Draw that you are a grub. No, Senator O'Sullivan. You can't, Senator O'Sullivan. Senator O'Sullivan, could I ask you to withdraw and do not repeat the phrase? I withdraw. Thank you. Senator MacDonald. If uh, grub is unparliamentary, uh, I could use that against Senator Cameron and I withdraw. Thank you. And it's also, I will remind senators, order. I'll remind senators, order. Senator Conroy. It's not so much all the, the word that is used, it's also in the context in which it is used. And so, or, order. Senator McGrath. It was used well, I, or, withdraw, it was I withdraw the use of grub. Thank you, Senator McGrath. Senator Nash. Mr President, I also withdraw the use of grub. Thank you. Or, Senator Scullion. Uh, I withdraw, Mr President. Thank you. Senator Williams. Come on. I withdraw, Mr. President. Thank you. Senator Hume. I withdraw too, Mr. Thank you, President. Senator Hume. Order. Order. Senator Cameron, a final supplementary question. Uh, Order on both sides. Thank, Senator Cameron. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I think that might be a record number of withdrawals. To the question. Senator How many? Cameron. Of those the Attorney General uh, has appointed to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, has he known for, and I quote, many years and made donations to the Liberal National Party of Queensland? Attorney General. Well, Senator Cameron, um, there are many people who I approach to be judges or members of the Adm Administrative Appeal Tribunal who I know personally. There are many. 
There are many, because frankly, there are very few prominent members of the legal profession, certainly in my own home city of Brisbane, who I do not know personally. It is hardly a disqualification for a person who is a suitable candidate for judicial office that they happen to know the Attorney General of the day. Thank you, Attorney General. Senator Cameron. Well, if the, I, I'll ask the Attorney General, have you concluded your answer? Yes. Do you still wish a point of order, Senator Cameron? Uh, well, I, again, it was on relevance. Uh, well, there was two the, aspects to the question. One was that the, the uh, Attorney General addressed the issue of many years' knowledge, well, but it did not go to the issue order, of donations to order, the Liberal Party. Senator Cameron, um, the, there is no point of order. The Attorney General did address the question. He has concluded. Senator uh, Billick, uh, point of order. Mr President, I overheard Senator Macdonald calling Again. Senator Cameron a disgusting excuse for a human being, and it's the second time I've heard it in the past few minutes. I would like him Thank to you. withdraw. Thank you. Order. Senate, Senator Macdonald, um, if, they, if, if you did make an unparliamentary comment, I'd appreciate it if you did. Well, I certainly did use those words, Mr uh, President, uh, and I stand by them, but if you say they're unparliamentary, I'll withdraw. Thank you, Senator Macdonald. Senator Senator O'Sullivan. The President, that I used them too, and I'll withdraw. Thank you, Senator O'Sullivan. <laughs> Senator Order. Senator Fawcett. Senator Thank Fawcett. you, Mr. President. My question is to the Cabinet Secretary, Senator Sinodinus.